The Sexual Offences Act 1967 is an important piece of legislation. Granted, it wasn't without its faults, but it led to the decriminalization of homosexual activity. That, although it took a while for it to actually to get to where we are, what we have to see it in the context of that it was actually a very positive step. The Criminal Justice and Public Order Act 1994 lowered the age of consent from 21 to 18. And then the Sexual Offences Amendment Act of 2000 lowered it to 16, so it was the same for homosexual and heterosexual activity. The age of consent was 16. In 1999, the government set up a sex offences review to remove anything that was discriminatory. And the, as a result of the review, their findings led to the Sexual Offences Act 2003. And that removed discriminatory provisions, it repealed it. And what it also did was it focused on sexual autonomy, it focused on equality, and one of the recommendations of the Sex Offences Review was that it should be the same for a man and a man, a, and a woman and a woman, to be able to hold hands and kiss in public and to be afforded the same protection under the law as a heterosexual couple doing exactly the same activity in public. As a result of that, then we had in 2004, which was the Civil Partnership Act, and finally last year we had the, the Same-Sex Marriage Act of 2013. There are still grounds to provide equality in sexuality today, with the main issue to challenge being the attitudes towards it. That's so gay, um, or that's a bit queer. Homophobia is an issue that still exists today, where people use derogatory language to express themselves, not considering people that may be offended as a result of it. If we look at the timeline, in barely half a century, the LGBT community has gone from being marginalised and being denied equality and protection under the law and not being criminalised. So if we look back on the Sexual Offences Act 1967, it was the first step that started the reform and the liberalisation of protecting sexual autonomy and the recognition of people's sexuality and their rights.